Hello everyone, this is Asif Khan with the beginner's tutorial that will introduce you to the basics of modeling in 3D Studio Max. We will be modeling a monitor, a model of a CPU monitor that will guide you with the basic steps that you need to take in order to start building a model and to give it a bit of detail. Keep in mind that this tutorial is for absolute beginners but advanced users can also learn and fine-tune their technique so let's start with the modeling select the box primitive and enter the keyboard values uh, with the length of 100 width of about 160 and height of about 7 click create and there you go have your monitor <laughs> well not exactly the monitor we need to work a lot to make it look like a monitor it's just a slab um, I'll get rid of these selection brackets they are so annoying to me so just right click on the perspective viewport go to the configure and just deselect use selection brackets and click OK you see there you go no selection brackets and I, I usually like to work with the edges visible I frequently switch between the edges and this shaded view so that I can better understand the model um, I'll just click F4 to enable the shaded lines or you could just right click on the perspective and click edged face to enable that and disable uh, the edges as being visible or not visible so let's start with the modeling uh, to move and model the vertices and the polygons in this object you just have to right click and click convert to editable poly this will give you access to the editing mode the editing screen where you will edit all of your models so let's start by softening the edges so click the edge button out here and select these edges you could do it manually but it will take some time so I'll switch to wireframe mode that is by pressing the F3 key or by selecting wireframe from this menu. I'll just drag in and select all of these edges while holding control. Remember you have to hold control while selecting different edges so that all of them are selected. If you do not hold control none of the edges uh, previously selected would be selected. Anyway. So just hold the control and select all of these edges and press chamfer out here. Click this small window tab button out here. Enter the chamfer value of 0.6 and press OK. So what happened is we added an extra edge. An edge that will edge that will that has softened the look of our model a bit now we also need to soften these corner points so again go to the edge mode select the corner one of the corners. just select one of them and press the ring button to select all of these corners see all of them have been selected automatically you have just to press the ring button now select loop again by pressing the loop button you also select all of these tiny small edges that are out here you do not have to leave them you have to select them all and press the chamfer button again you see another edge was created out here to give our model a bit softer look now just press ok button so basically we have softened the edges of our model uh, now to create the screen area we have to select these edges out here all of them uh, not all of them just the top and the bottom one and click connect by pressing the connect uh, I'll switch to full screen mode so you can better see it press alt W to switch to, f to maximize the perspective viewport now select all of these edges and press chamfer uh, uh, sorry connect button you see by pressing the connect we have added an extra edge we need two of the edges and pinch them a bit adding the pinch value usually moves them to uh, to the extreme edges where we need them uh, a value of 95 would be good enough press ok now select these edges horizontal edges and uh, press connect again 
modify your pinch a little bit to match those ones and press ok here we go we have the central screen area now we need to just bevel it a little bit um, we'll enter the negative height of 1 and the outline amount to minus 3 and press ok here we have our screen area that has been pushed inside um, just press F4 and you can see the result alright now we'll adjust a little bit of the packs I just press this exit uh, full, uh, exit maximize button so we'll be reverted back to our default view select the polygon um, to the back side and press bevel again this time you'll give it a negative height of about 10 and the outline amount uh, a positive height of about 10 and the outline amount outline doesn't matter you just need to move that polygon out you will edit it manually um, in the front and the left viewport just uh, dive into your vertice editing mode by pressing this little button here and move your edges a little bit select all of these vertices move them a little down move it a bit, bit up that just depends upon you what kind of shape you want to give the, to the back side of your monitor it doesn't matter uh, you don't have to follow exactly my tutorial you can do whatever you like the shape which you find best I'm just doing it um, by pure thought I do not have any reference or photo to match it with so I'm free to um, modify it any way I want to so basically we will also need to soften the back side edges a little bit select the edge mode select all of these edges press the loop button and click chamfer to give us a soft edge at the back good enough now we will be modeling the stand on which the monitor will sit let's move on to that part now 